Welcome to the Uncle Geek Podcast, the show where we talk about the world of comics, giving you our genuine perspectives, whether you disagree with them or not. Thank you for being here. I am Nick. Hey, everybody. I'm Roy. Today is geek thinking. On this week's episode, we wanted to reimagine what Star Wars would look like if the entire universe got rebooted today using actors of 2023, starting with the first film. Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. So be sure to follow us at the.unclegeek on Instagram and TikTok for updates or sign up for our newsletter at www.uncle-geek.com. <laughs> That's uncle-geek. Hyphen. Oh, whatever. Hyphen. All right, man. You ready for this? I'm right. I'm excited, man. I've been ready for this one for a while. Actually, I've been. I don't know, I, man. I've gone through many revisions of this. I was, uh, I was struggling through some of them. I think struggling because you couldn't narrow it down. Well, because well, no, because like just, I mean, just the chemistry that some of these. I I did built, I did do that. I, I that was just a some of me. the chemistry that these characters built over the years and just from watching them for decades and even into That's true. and even yeah, into decades, the. You're right. You know, and even into the newer, the, the, the sequel trilogy, I mean, they're, you know, they still kind of have that, the, that, that chemistry, you know, even though, even though, spoiler alert, you know, Luke didn't really, <laughs> <laughs> Luke wasn't in the, in, in the Force Awakens for, till the end of the, yeah, till, the, till the end of the movie, so there, I mean, there wasn't any chemistry there, but that Han and, you know, Han and Leia still, you know, Okay, so that being said, are, are, were you doing this under the perspective of knowledge of the whole, you know, series? Uh, yeah, just I, okay. I, okay, just, I, 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 good, I yeah. did the same. I did the same. I did. Okay. I, I did. I know that we were only rebooting the first movie, but still, yeah. it was just kind of like I said, like thinking about chemistry and and all that stuff. Okay. And even now, I don't. Still, sometimes I don't think that some of mine would would work chemistry wise. Well, but well, oh, who really? Knows? Who knows? Really. So. Okay. All right. I want you to start. You go first. Ooh. Yeah. So you, you, our lead, first, you lead. You lead. Our first. Yeah. Casting of Luke. Of course. Luke. It's got to be Luke. Luke Skywalker. This one, I I kind of picked a I, I kind of picked an actor who uh, I, I picked an actor who I thought would who I've you know recently did a movie probably and and I, I think would work in this uh, in in Luke Skywalker's role. I I picked Timothy Chalamet. Really, he's that's how because I, I picked I picked him because I, I picked him because uh, okay. well okay uh, help, help us out everybody there who who you know what so what, you, what you may have seen him in recently so I I I, I know but you know just. Just in Dune. Yes, Dune. Okay, Dune, yeah. and and if you know the and right, if you yes. know the, the the story of Dune, he's this he's this he's this kid. He was born in a he was born in a, a powerful family. Yes, family dies, and then he becomes this. He becomes yeah. the Moadi. Yes, <laughs> and and <laughs> no, he's good. This, he's, yeah, this, I like he's that. this. He's this. He's this. He becomes this. He becomes this Messiah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So I I think he I think he would. Fill I like that it. Luke's that guy. that actually was that was in my list. He was one thing. I, I think, think he would. I, he was fill. probably my three or four. He was in there. Yeah, I think he would fill that I Luke like Skywalker uh, that that Luke Skywalker character very well. I can see him. Flipping oh, he's around. a good actor. I could very good actor. I could see him flipping around a, mm-hmm. a lightsaber and taking people. I could out. see him getting dark too. I could see him get yeah. be whiny. And whiny. About, yeah, whiny. I can see him get <laughs> <a bit> whiny <laughs> about the mm. the. the the toy yeah. station. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. He's a very good actor too, and right. I like I like him a lot. The the, the and I, I can, and I'm I'm looking forward to Dune too. Yes, the, yes. The the, yeah. the second part this year. So yeah, he screams well. He look he looks great. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Go, go ahead. Fine. So mine and is that your guy? Is our guy English by the way? Who Timothy? Yeah. I no, he is. He's an American. He's an American. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought. Well, I was, He's I, an so I picked the British boy, guy. American boy. Oh, okay. Um, so Teron Egerton from oh. the Kingsman series. He did Rocket Man. Uh, Teron you know? Egerton. Yeah. I, I well. Uh, He's a very talented guy. I, a part of it the is King, that yeah, the, King the Kingsman. Yeah. You can see how he moves in that, right? Yeah. He moves well. 
Yeah. He presents well. He could also sing. Not that Luke has any singing parts or whatever like that. Mm. But he moves great in that mm. in that series. So it's kind of Jedi esque. It's like English Jedi's kind of. <laughs> he's, he's, he's it's English, like English Jedi's. English but I mean, Jedi's. I don't know. Rocket Man. He was really good at Rocket Man too. Oh yeah, um, he's really very good. I mean, he sings well. I mean, he isn't he in. Uh, I don't know. Some you know animated what? stuff too. Um, I don't think, I think he, it's this. I don't think he's. Sing? I don't think he's scrawny enough. Yeah, you're. Well, you're right. <laughs> he's he's, he's, he's like he's pretty he's well probably, built. You're right. He's pretty well built. He's dude. a he's a he's a you know Luke yeah. Skywalker. He's a pretty is, well built guy. Luke Skywalker is just that's kind of why I picked yeah. him. In the yeah, yeah no, that's actually he's got, why he's got a he's got a wiry build. Yeah, that, that's actually one of the things why it was like because I was thinking of build, but but no, I, but I I, I was thinking that. of his abilities. I'd buy actually, that. So again, we're casting in 2023, right? I'd buy so that. you figure a part of me was like, he's going to be the scenes are going to be more acrobatic, mm-hmm. and who's going to pull it off? True. So that this way I go. All right. Mm-hmm. Where's, let's roll. I like it. Let's go. Okay. Who, who who's next? All right. Oh, Leia. Going Leia. Oh, okay. Keeping with the Timothy oh, Chalamet. Okay. Okay. I. Team. All right. I, I I picked Zendaya. Oh. I picked Zendaya to be uh, part to be of Leia. Disney already, right? She's I don't know. The, she just she just she just strikes she's, me. She's amazing. She just strikes she's me. She's a local as some, girl. Yeah, oh, from yeah. Oakland. She's from Oakland. She's from Oakland. She just strikes me as someone who would be Leia. Yeah. I uh, I mean she I, I think she would be that fiery Sp- fiery strong that little, fiery strong figure. will get you know get this walking, put a dude in place get this walking carpet out of my way type yeah. oh of, yeah you you so you did the scenes with her yeah right? no I, I like I, I did the same thing. I did you know I did could she say could she get away with could casting she, yeah, the yeah, line yeah can she could get she, away yeah, with some could of these she lines? Say, ain't she a little short like, to be a stormtrooper yeah. and yeah. and the whole like yeah I love you yeah that whole yeah could could she definitely she could get away with that yeah. I definitely think she, not not get away, but she could do no, it. Oh yeah, she I not mean, get away. Like, mind you, she's really very talented. She, she could. She she's could what, do she's it. Under thirty years old, and God, how many? Which is, she's twenty five, I think. She's just a kid, super talented. Well, Beautiful. dude, Carrie Fisher was nineteen when she did it. She's also a celebrity taught. So. So I mean, yeah, I kind Zendaya. I think that was proven, was, proven. I mean, yeah, Zendaya. She's good. I, I I seriously think she would legitimately be. On the, like if this was a real casting call, like she has to be. I think she would. Be, I think she'd be, maybe she'd make a great lady. Mine might be a little more unknown for, for some of the audience and even you. Oh, okay, go ahead. Let's go. Let's do this. Mine is uh, Jenna Ortega. From she's Wednesday. not unknown. I, I don't know what you watch. She is not unknown. Jenna Ortega. Well, she's she was in from Wednesday Nico- and, from Nickelodeon. Yes. Okay, but there's some older people who are of our generation. In Star Wars, she's, she's. I think she's great too. She's, oh yeah, Liam, is, right? Strong, really strong, and yeah. I think you she, seen her? I'm not sure if she had a stunt double, but she had to learn like cello and fencing and all these things. And again, a modern take. I'm not saying that you know uh, Carrie Fisher couldn't have done it, but this girl's very beautiful, mind you. You know, like it. Right, I like that one. Jenner right, Jenner she Ortega. is not. Uh, she is not I, an unknown. No, I wasn't sure if you know. Oh, again, like some she's of the people in of Scream our, these days. The the, the yeah. The, well, it's not like a remake, is it? No, it's a it's, it's a continuous it's sequel. Yeah, yeah. They're they're sequels. She's in Scream. She's also in the uh, that Netflix movie, uh, that Netflix show. You yeah. So not for not for little yeah. kids, mind you. That's the, what she's Scream Queen. Like she's a modern Scream Queen. Yeah. But no, I, I I did the same thing. I had her do the lines in my head. And I was yeah. like, yeah, she she could pull this off. Yeah, I uh, yeah yeah you're a good one. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Okay, let's roll. Okay, next on our list, according to our producer. Uh, you know what? This one was Han kind of, or Han. It's it's <laughs> Han Solo, not Han Solo. <laughs> Come on. I use the I, I use the 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 world pronunciation of a ah uh, Han so. Solo. Uh, I had some trouble Ooh, okay. with this one because I had to figure I had to find like think of someone who's gonna have the same who's gonna have the same chemistry with Carrie Fisher that Zendaya could have. Uh, you know, yeah, I get you're would, and so I was kind of thinking that, and I was and you're again, thinking of the whole series again, yeah. Yeah. thinking like with with the lines and yes, with yeah. the lines you're and recreating stuff. Recreating like, those lines with that, like actor. what who could pull off say nah, I don't believe in that mumbo jumbo Jedi, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. I, 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 you know, I, I'm trying to. They, I was trying to do that in my head. Bit of head. a cynic kind yeah, of, the, right? The, the, the cynic, but yeah. and also funny, and you know yeah. that, that that whole that that whole vibe. I got you. All that was it, uh, setting up for money. And I think, you. and I, 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 I picked Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah. As Han Solo. <laughs> Great pick. Good. Jason, Jason Momoa. He Good just the, to me. He just. Yeah. He, he, oh yeah. That's he it. could That's pull right on, right on. He could pull all of those, uh, all of that off. He pulls. He can pull off that 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 slick. You know, the guy who's a, the smuggler. I can see your picks. Like I see where you're going. Like is it there? And and yeah. And that that, that works. That's he's, very he's, very good. He's I don't funny. know if mine works with yours. If I had Jen Ortega, and because yeah, she's massive. Yeah. No, you're right. His his lines. He's, those lines. Yeah, those lines with Jason Mo. I I can see him pulling. He can not pull it off. But again. Oh no, that's pull, not pull right them on. off. But he could do them. Yeah. He could. Right on. I think if you if you had him do those lines, would you have him rock the whole like islandy hair? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd, have, it, him, right? yeah, I'd have him pull the do the island. Except for the the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the scene where they're doing where they get the medals. At the end, he'd have to wear it in a. Yeah, you have to, have to put it in a bun. <laughs> you have to put it in a bun. Yeah. You have to put it in the a bun. The formal attire. Dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. He's got his bun going. Walking down the... No, dun, I got you. Dun, 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 dun. He's walking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got you. That's good. You'd have to, yeah, you have to do the bun. Good, have to good the... pick, man. Good pick. Very, very good. I mean, I can really visualize that that scene with Zendaya putting the... Yeah. <laughs> putting on Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's so. a really good one. I, yeah, Jason Momoa. He's on up solo. there. All right, I yeah. went a totally different different direction. Okay, go ahead. Aubrey Plaza. Aubrey. Wow. From Parks and Rec. Right, White Lotus and that uh, Mike and Dave Whoa. wedding dates or whatever. Aubrey Plaza. Aubrey Plaza. Could she? Yeah, she could. Th- you said cynic. That was my big thing. The cynic and delivering these lines. Oh. You know, honey. and being like sharp and. Quick witted and snarky, right? She's I like it, right? Uh, good one, right? Uh, wow, good one. Good Again, one. like I, I'm building my cast, like you know these guys on here. Um, I could see there being really great chemistry between Jenna Ortega, yeah, and and Aubrey Plaza yeah. there. You know, yeah. also like, God, this, you really, you know, this scoundrel and <laughs> yeah, I could buy that. Yeah, right? Yeah, man, I can buy that. I, I literally think when I think of Hans, I was like, this was a if this was a female, like it's I, I had like one person in my mind. I can buy that. Ooh, what's her name? Good. I could I could I can buy that. Okay. So our next one's a big one. Okay, oh. Vader. So this one, if we if we were remaking nineteen seventy, the nineteen like wow. just Star Wars. Yes, I, I had to, well no because I had to do this because okay I had to I had I had to pick a guy and who's gonna wear the suit. Do you? Well, who's I gonna be some? I I did. I I, I, picked, I, did, I did it based off the voice. No, only. I did. I did it. I picked the dude who would who could possibly like wear the suit and possibly do the voice. But what if we did possibly got to do the voice. Well, no, because the guy who no, that's not true. Because well, the guy David Prowse who was in who who was Vader. Dude, Mandalorian. Pedro Pascal's like in it a fraction but, of the time. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying is, the the guy David Prowse who played Dar- who who did the who was the guy in the suit. Okay. He, you know, they were trying to see if he could he could do the with my. Like, when he had a knee to English, <laughs> he's like. Yeah, so he couldn't. So where was he from? <laughs> so he couldn't. So he couldn't do the. Yeah, so he couldn't do. <laughs> Yeah, he couldn't do the 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 Vader voice. He actually yes. got it, it, so it, okay. You it's went, documented went, that he was pissed off about you that. You wanted somebody who could be both. So I wanted to. Okay, all right. So I so I picked I somebody that. who I picked somebody who could be in the suit, but could possibly do the lines. Who could probably do the voice over okay. afterwards as well. Yes. They digitized yeah. his voice, mind you. I picked, uh, but uh, mind you, I also picked a dude that they didn't want to use his voice to do the voice over to. So okay, uh, so the guy in the <laughs> suit. Was going to be, and I don't know if you guys would remember this guy, All right. but he was in uh, Sons, of, uh, Sons of Anarchy, and he also played uh, the main character in Remember the Titans. It was uh, Ryan Hurst. Is it Opie? He played, yes! Opie? <laughs> Opie. <laughs> yeah, actually. Ryan Hurst. The dude is tall enough 
Yeah, the dude has the say. has the that boy, yeah he could he God, I like you voice. man good call I like and the it, dude is the dude is big enough and yeah. he has and he has the voice to do it. He, he by the way he's, by the way he was he he is in the uh, which I think is a criminally underrated show the uh, the uh, oh my gosh I forgot the name of the show now the the secret Benedict Society. The, the the Benedict Society. It's on it's on Disney Plus. It has oh, it's on Disney, Disney Plus. Yes, 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 yes. No, no. You know what I when you when you said that the first thing I thought of in the scene was Luke taking off the helmet and and I'm like yeah, that, he could that works. He yeah. could he, he could do the could, voice. He could you do the right. voice. He could be and he could be the dude. At, oh yeah, at, he's, at both. The, at, he's both. He he could be the dude. Yes. Now I picked also if he if wears they leather. Did, Black. Sure say, yeah. so <laughs> you know, like, but if but uh, but if they were gonna if they were gonna voice over him, the voiceover dude that I picked was Michael Dorn, Worf from. Oh yeah, that's good. Worf, really good. from uh, the Next Generation Star Trek. He's got that. He has that voice. They digitized. Oh yeah, his that's, voice easy. To be that's easy. That's easy. I man, that would be. Yeah. That's now, a good gig too. I went. I went a little extra too because that's already extra. Well, okay. <laughs> Who was gonna be Anakin? This one's extra, guys. Who is going to be Anakin? Wait, wait. Why are you going that way? Well, because I'm missing it. If so, when they take off the mask, it's not. No, no, no. I mean, not OP. If, 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 if they if four, they five, six, did. man, four, five, six. I know, I know. All right, maybe I'll save that one. Yeah, another. All right, okay, I'll save that one. No, like, okay, so the helmet comes off. Who is? No, it would be, it would be Ryan. Okay, then. There. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. I did not go that way. <laughs> I assumed it would be a professional stunt guy yeah. who's Ooh. six four, whatever six eight, wearing you know the costume. Yeah, and I purely went on uh, acting ability, speaking, and I went. <laughs> there's a relation to the original and this one, and I picked Scar. Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons from well, because he, he did Scar in uh, the Lion King, right? Man of Iron Mask. He's in the DC Universe. Uh, would he be the guy as, in the um, suit? No. Like oh, I said, like be, it, oh, that would be the act, you know, like oh, a stunt okay. guy. Oh, just okay. like Mandalorian. But he'd be the guy with the voice. And ironically enough, Lion King, it was James Earl Jones. James and, Jones. And, yeah, James Earl Jones. And, this, Jer- yeah. and Jeremy Irons, right? Yeah, yeah. That voice that he has, right? Yeah, he's, he's got that. He's got he's that. that voice. He's got that. Snob. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does have that right. song. I mean, yeah. And he could sing. Not that Darth Vader's going to have a song <laughs> Not that nothing happens. <laughs> whatever. Be prepared. Whatever. Is that, what it is? is that a song? Yes. Or... Did yes. he have more songs? I don't know. No, that was that was it. Be prepared. But he just know. seems like that guy. That voice is it's scary. I mean. That was it. Yeah. Jeremy Irons. Yours? Mm-hmm. I like what you did, though. Because you actually, you went cheaper in production. <laughs> because well, you not cheaper production, but I thought, but I thought that guy could do. He could do. No, well. yes, he can. But like I said, it's cheaper production because unless you did the warfare. But yeah, Opie could have done both. Yeah. I, 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 I don't even want the the, the war character. I, I want Opie. Yeah, yeah, I want he Opie would for sure. It would work. All right, Obi Wan. Ah oh, man, I well, oh th- was this hard for you? It, it well actually no, it wasn't. How many did you have in your list? I had I had probably there were there were two, but there was you know what I I'm not gonna screw around with I'm not gonna screw around with the casting on this one. Oh yeah, I I didn't either. I'd leave I'd leave you and McGregor as what as really I'd leave him be. <sighs> You know why? Be- no, whenever, okay. when e- okay, look, listen. And what, yes, whoever uh, picked him. We're talking today. Yes, okay. Whoever, yeah, today. Whoever picked him back then must have known that you know what we're this gonna. Guy, this guy could be Obi Wan forever. forever, like forever. for decades, yeah, forever. If they ever rebooted, yep. if they ever yeah. rebooted Star Wars, if he could play Obi Wan again. And wouldn't wouldn't that be weird that he was in the original prequels and then yeah. he did his? He's like, oh, I. No, that's good. That's very. I I I, I stayed. I mean, God, I didn't even think of that. I stayed. That was with, not even. Okay, I stayed. But with you had another there. guy in mind. I was or thinking. Did? I was thinking maybe Idris Elba. <laughs> He would have been. He probably would have been a good uh, yeah. Obi Wan uh, yeah. as well. 
Yeah. No, I, oh, I, oh man, that, that hits me, man. I, I got you. I think he would have been. I think he would have been a great. He would have been great uh, Obi Wan. I mean, he was he was Heimdall in in Thor, yeah. and I, I don't know. Yeah. He, he just kind of struck me as uh, he could be Obi Wan, but ah, man, Ewan McGregor and, and him standing toe to toe with Vader because they're so yeah big because they're big dudes. Yeah, I yeah I like that. And plus, you know, being a general, right? Yeah. You know, and you know, but he has that. But you and McGregor, I mean, I I couldn't mess around with that that that. I mean, that casting was just perfect all the so way. He's, he's Scottish, right? All the way around. He, yeah, he's Scottish. Yeah. So voice would be the same. Yeah, he yeah. nothing yeah. would change. I mean, he's I, he, that was just perfect casting on 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 Disney's oh, or yeah. Lucasfilm's part with with him. So I would stay with you and McGregor. That's that's. I feel, man, I really want that now. I'm going to stick with mine. I'm going to stick with mine. Go, so go. I went a different way. I would pick the Helena Bonham Carter. So, you know, she's in Ocean's 8. No, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, she yeah, she no, basically no. is in everything Tim Burton does, right? As Obi-Wan. As Obi-Wan. She just seems like that personality when she comes into the room just wise and can sit you know can sit and let's have some tea and just drop knowledge but she's even though she's little she just seems like someone who could also kick your ass but mind you it's you know it's not about size right it's not about size it's, she's probably 411 or 52 i don't know she's tiny yeah she's, she's a little tiny. person you know nice. but she just has it and then you know her, just how her accent because i'd have her do english her natural I yeah. think that would come across really well with with my with my Luke Skywalker. Mm. Yeah. And 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 again how I don't know, something about again I'm using Jeremy Irons too. Yeah, yeah. You know, how they would have that relationship. Yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah. Mm. It's a good one. Right? You like I that? Like you like I, my I, direction? I, how I'm, I'm, I'm I like that. I'm doing this. I like that. I'm doing this. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like <laughs> that. Going to Star Wars. Right? All right. Oh, this is a fun one for me. So, 3PO, I... Man, again, this is... This is this a part of me thinks that we might have the same guy on this one. I think for 3PO, uh, Alan Tudyk... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good pick. He that, already that played. Is, he is, already played a droid. Well, in, okay. But yeah. I think... But I think he could be also in the suit. I, okay. I think he so, could be, but he'd have to do a voice. Well, yeah, he'd have to do the voice. But no, then no, he but he'd have to be... do a voice. It can't be his voice because well, no, doing... no, it would be yeah, it would be his own. Because well, he does a lot of voiceover. That's what I'm saying. So which would it be voiceover of some? No, he do both. voice he'd create, or is he doing his own voice? No, he'd do no, he'd be a, it would be a voice he'd create. Because it's I think. okay, because because K two is his voice. Yeah. That's, that's okay. I'm... So he'd create a voice. Yeah. He'd also be in the thing. He'd also the... be in the. He'd also be in the suit. If they even did that anymore these days. No, right? it, it, I mean, how long did uh, the original guy do it for? Yeah, he, he's still doing. Yeah, <laughs> he's right? still he's still around. Anthony Daniels, yeah, he's Anthony still Daniels. Yeah. he's still doing it. Yeah, so I would pick this guy. I think he was. I think this guy was kind of a no brainer for me. Like as Th- that, as that, is, that is actually probably easily in a casting call top three. I, yeah, I would. Right. That's my that's my three PO right oh, there. Oh man, you're you're not gonna like mine now. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, uh, Jim Parsons from Big Bang Theory. Jim Parsons. Sheldon. Can you see the guy in your head? I can. I'm trying to. And like... he's such a nerdy geek type of guy who's always dropping knowledge about everything and statistics. It's basically <laughs> he's, the, he's taking the exact same character, you know. As, as, as Dr. Sheldon, you always, know, in Big Bang Theory, and you're going to put him in a suit. <laughs> it's he, he, he doesn't have to do anything. He just has to be exactly who he is in that. Uh, and he has the same yeah, frame. You know and what? then Daniels is the same frame. He he's would maybe tall, fit the exact same suit. I think Jim Parsons is a little tall, though. He's Oh, yeah, he, he, he is a tall dude. dude. Yeah, he's, you're right. He's a he tall guy. Tall. He is tall. Ah, uh, yeah. And he has these kind of weird mannerisms yeah. about, about him that would come across in a, you oh, know, I where mean. you don't need to see his face because he's, you know, he's a what droid. What you say, dude? I wouldn't like this. This is a good That's a No, I don't know. I just, yours is... That's a good I really one. Like yours. No, but this is a good one too. <laughs> no, this is a good one. But can, but can you see I can, it? Yeah, like, I can totally the picture interaction. His, yeah, I can totally picture him as yeah. as three PO. Oh, good. It's a good one. Yeah, That's just I like it. I like go it. nerds. I like it. All right. 
<laughs> this one. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna like mine. This one's uh, the, the, I, I copped out yeah. on this one. Oh, okay. I, 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 I think. Yeah. I copped out on this one. I, I, th- this one's uh, this this one is who we would cast for Emperor Palpatine. So what? I, I don't know if this if this actor would have gotten the notoriety he did if he didn't do his uh, the role that he's famous for and was or is famous for. Okay, but. He would be perfect as the he would be perfect as the emperor. As a matter of fact, he would be perfect as uh, he would. I would do this. Have this guy do two characters in 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 Star Wars. Yes, I think. And 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 he's an and he's a viable actor today too. Mark Hamill could be the emperor. Oh, I knew you. I I knew he was gonna do this. I Mark knew somehow he was going to get an original cast member and bring him back. I knew you were going to do this. But, but it's perfect. I actually did have this it's on my list, per- too. It's perfect. It, Mark no, Hamill, I know. Coming back. So Mark, I got you. Mark Hamill is, I mean, he he's like one of the best voice actors that we've yeah. That, yeah, that, yes. that, that's yes. around yeah. today. I mean, obviously, his. I mean, he was Luke, but then, but then he's also... Almost just as famous for yeah. his voiceover as the Joker. Yeah. So, <laughs> I I think he would be great as he would be great as the uh, as Emperor. I mean, in his in his right age now, today now right too. right Perfect. now Perfect. today yeah. way he the way he is he would be the perfect Emperor. He would he'd have the cackle. He'd have the oh yeah, yes. he'd have fun doing oh being, yeah being the Emperor. He'd enjoy being the bad guy. Yeah. That, oh, that's, that's he would. Great. I think Mark Hamill would be a, an awesome emperor. Conversely, like I said, he could also yeah. be he could also be Yoda. He could be Yoda's voice too while we're while we're at it. He could do not allowed two. to do that. What you, why not? You're doing extra. No, that's I'm just saying Yoda. <laughs> Did it make our list that was no, no Yoda didn't we, make we our had list. this discussion no. in production. We, why are you doing that? Yoda. <laughs> God. Next, go ahead. Pick. Did he was he on your list? Really? I know we're doing this list and we're thinking about all these different characters. Yeah. But if Yoda was on the list, was he on your list? Like he was actually on your list? Who? Mark Hamill? Ooh, yes, Mark Hamill. As Ooh, Yoda? Yes. <laughs> he oh man, really? Yes. You had him for both? Yeah, I had him for both. God. Just because of the voiceover aspect. Well, that's good for production. Again, it's cheaper. That was one dude. Say. Go ahead. You're gonna hate my damn it. No. I'm not gonna hate it. But I mean, hate we're not I ranking these, right? I haven't I mean, hated any of any of your picks. If you guys are gonna comment or whatever, oh man, I I really. Don't. <laughs> I, I haven't hated any of your picks. Your picks are pretty pretty cool. I like them. Go. You're being polite. I'm nice because he stayed at my condo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, so I better be nice. What All right. Get out of here. The emperor. Do you have any idea where I'm going with this? No. I have zero idea. All right. Lena Headley from Game of Thrones, Cersei Lannister. She's in Sarah Connor Chronicles what? 300. Wow. Can't you just... Okay, you guys. Can really? you just see her sitting there? I totally can. She's... Again, she's basically playing almost... Like what's, I mean, what's, with you in tall, what's with you in tall people? <laughs> Why are you, you, know these... histor- you know how I am historically with women. What's you? with... But, I mean, but... yeah, can No, really. Like, for real. Come on. <laughs> yes. Right? Can't you just... And could you could you see that? Yes, I can. Right? I can see it. Yeah. 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 Think of the lines. Think of the lines. Do the dialogue in your head. I'll bet right? she, could do, she could do those lines in her sleep. Oh, exactly. Oh. Right? Yeah, she It's go, so oh, easy for her. You want this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, her... Be- me down. And her being wow. beautiful, too. You know, it's just like... Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. And you could see how someone like her, and the way she is and looks, how she could rise to power and manipulate people. Yeah, yeah. I, again, I'm thinking of the the whole the whole progression there. Yeah, yeah. Lita, yeah. Lita right? Hedy, yeah. I <laughs> could see that. Yeah, good one. And, good one. And she could be a blonde. Wasn't she Palpatine a blonde? Maybe they had... He had silver hair, didn't he? Yeah. Although I don't know how that would work if they did the. Uh, uh, she can't. She can't be all wrinkly. That's not no. I wouldn't do that. Well, no, you would have to because I mean that's the it's it's the emperor. I mean. You, no, you had be be he she no. she has I would, to. Have, I would I would do an update to that. I wouldn't have that. You know. I mean, she could lose limbs or whatever like that. But this this is staying. Oh no, man! You probably gotta have a little bit of dark force. Or just some scars. <laughs> 
some scars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But every I was going through all the lines in my head, you know, and like, oh. Every sit there isn't one that she couldn't drop. You know. She would do the family guy one. Something, something. <laughs> God, something, something, something. <laughs> <laughs> she could, this is a fun one. She could do this that too. Yeah, okay, I guess. All right. Wow, we're getting we're getting down there to the finals here. Lando. So Lando. Lando. You know, you would think that you would pick Donald Glover. No. 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 You did not. I did not. I did not. I did not. I. So for Lando, and I did this based on a show that I'm that I'm watching. Show. Okay. All right. I, I did this based on a show that I'm currently watching for this first. But this act. But this actor uh, has done genre, genre work too before. So I think this, and I, like I said, I think household name. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, maybe. Maybe in in the in the geek world, uh, this person is. All right. So the person that I picked for Orlando was Natasha Leone. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha. That's a good one. Leo. I'm trying, and now I'm doing the lines. Cause she's I'm got the. I, I I like her because she's got the. She's got the. She's got the. the yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and she, but she also exudes that. Uh, I'm gonna get you. I'm she's gonna trending. Get you. She's trending back. And right. uh, you know she's she's got she's in uh, in, in the character that she's playing right now in the the show uh, Poker Face. Yeah, Poker Face. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, she to me like she just I don't know no, to me I she just it. reminds me of that hustle of, yeah, that yeah. that hustle thing that Lando you know oh, I know you, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. but she could also but you know she could also be charming you know yeah as, and uh, and your as well. is Momoa right yeah so I got you to be yeah she could she could be charming she yeah. has she can she does the hey, yeah. I get me, hey, what's going on hey, going on guys yeah. you know yeah i mean i could picture i could picture jason momoa and her yes playing, i could see that playing yeah. sabak and yeah. they're playing for the <laughs> millennium falcon and she's be um i actually uh, love seeing her in my head now seeing her in the falcon with going, chewie next to her yeah i, got see, that. I like I, that I, I, yeah she oh, would good one. i think good she one. would make a great lando yeah she, uh, that would be yeah, she would be a great. Good Lando. one. Good trend on that. I like that. I like she that. Really current too. Really current. Great Lando, I think. So I went with somebody really quite mainstream and maybe because it's a bit of a man crush. It's uh, I pick Zach Efron. High school musical. He is in Baywatch. Oh, uh, yeah, being a showman. Yeah. He's just one of those guys that's really smooth, right? And it's like, hey, Leia, you know that whole thing, yeah, you know, with yeah. Jen Ortega, yeah. right? And just that whole rivalry, it's like, man, this guy is really charming and suave. You kind of want to, you know, be friends with this guy, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that's how Lando got through probably his life is like being really charming and hustling dudes for, you know, for the, the, the mine or whatever that gas mine. What, what was Bestman again? Yeah. It's gas production. So, yeah, because you kind of figure it's like they imply yeah. that he hustled somebody. Yeah, out of it, right? Yeah. And I'm like, that just seems like something that Zach Efron could pull off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, Pretty boy guy, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, you know, for some. these for for these picks, I know that we you know we we kind of gen like gender swap. So oh yeah. Well, I mean, I yours didn't, was I didn't plan on doing yet. it at all. I just was thinking lines and and. Who would fit? And this, people just came into my head. So you know, using the you using the current the well, the dynamics that we know with, uh, amongst the characters, and then you know we gender swap. You yeah, know, we gender swap some of them. How? Excuse me. How does changing those? How does changing the the genders affect those dynamics? So for instance, so now so now I've got so now I've got Natasha Leone playing Lando. Yeah. And you know, she was you know, she was always, you know, being smooth on you know, being, <laughs> yes. being smooth with, with Leia and and, yeah. and and all that. And that that still probably couldn't wouldn't have to change. No. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because Lando Lando was characterized as someone who was pan do Pansexual. What like my guy, Zach Efron. So he, could, you so know, he, so this yours, person, yours works good too. So she could, I mean, she, you know, I mean, that dynamic is still to me alive with Natasha Leone yeah. and 
uh, uh, and Zendaya, Zendaya as yeah. as as Princess Leia. I think that dynamic is is still mm-hmm. because she could still be like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? I did factor that in, you know that. that, that yeah, I, so I think I think that dynamic still is, that that dynamic still to me works because be because I mean like I said, like, we Lando was being characterized as, as someone who's you know who's who's cool with everyone, right? But. Yeah, as far as like, cool dude yeah as far as as far as like, cool guy vibes yeah, right? yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. That's exactly cool that's I mean yeah she's got the cool she's got the cool person vibe yeah she does people you want to hang out with that's that's who I thought of when I think of Lando yeah yeah it's like hey what are you doing tonight I'm like, I feel... so <laughs> I, well, I, it seems like that guy. so you're so you're you had some gender swaps on uh, on yours I mean how how do you think that's going to uh, affect the dynamics with with the characters themselves. I mean, look at who who did you who did you the, the I, emperor I, for for instance. So I don't think that makes nothing a, changes. I don't, that, that I doesn't don't that doesn't make a that doesn't make a difference. You can just it doesn't <laughs> matter. It doesn't matter if you're. Yeah, but you know, giving like coming up in politics and like trying to hustle people too. You know, you know, like, just be very good looking person. You know, you use that to her advantage. <laughs> yeah, but the force, you know. Yeah, and then and then she I could just and see could use the her force. being so powerful in the force. I just I think she, that she just that comes across when I think of that actress. Even in all her earlier stuff that I had seen, mm-hmm, she just comes mm-hmm, out like, man, mm-hmm, there's, mm-hmm. there's something about her. Well, you know how I picked Aubrey Plaza as my Han Han Solo. Yes, uh, you know, and then obviously the general. How do yeah and, yeah? So how how would that dynamic how would that dynamic work with you know with Aubrey Plaza and and uh, Jenna Ortega well, as your as your lady. I don't think anything really changes. Yeah, I mean, at least they're both Latin, I suppose. And <laughs> they're both Latin. <laughs> Latin so it works. Way, so it, it works. <laughs> I mean, in the household, I don't think there's going to be much, you know, differences yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in how that household is, uh, wherever that may be. Um, <laughs> you know, but I just, again, like, I, I when I did this, guys, I it, it was not about, oh, let me mix it up. No, I just... The thought of like their personalities yeah. and their acting personalities and things that they've done, and does that does that fit? You know, but we worked some pretty top notch actors who were out there, yeah, for sure. Well, we got a last. We got we've got uh, one each here. Oh yes, I forgot about this part. Yeah, we got one. I totally each. forgot about this. We got this one part. each here, so we're gonna go ahead and cast these guys. So yours is interesting. Yeah, because. Mm-hmm. In the in the movie, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jabba was this Jabba was this slug thing. Yes. Who who would you put as an actor for this? I I have one of yours. Uh oh. I put Jason Momoa as Jabba. Yes. And here's the reason why. I think of him. I thought I was thinking of people who would who run a criminal underground. And I was like, who, who, who could do that and like own it and like basically tear off heads, you know? Like if he was upset with him, and I'm like somebody big, menacing, strong with great stage presence. I'm like, like if I if I walked up and I go, well, uh, hey Jabba, um, I dropped the spice. <laughs> and, uh, I, I, I wouldn't like try to hustle. I'd be like, uh, uh, I'm so, and I'm not worried about his 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 pig. Hog guards. I'm more worried about Jabba himself. Jabba himself you know, and like literally like tearing my head or limbs off or something like that. That's how. That's the angle I came off from. But he could also be very charming. It's like, hey, you know about that shit, but don't worry about it. You know, but <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna, gonna rip tear your head off. Your arm. Yeah, I'm gonna rip your head off. <laughs> but I didn't tear off your arm. You know? So wait, would okay? I'm. What, uh, you would do, you? Uh, no. Would you? What are you gonna put? Are you gonna put Jason Momoa in the like no, the prosthetics? No, he's himself. Oh, so you wouldn't do the you wouldn't no do the way. you wouldn't, wouldn't do the hut style like no like, no like what like no. What? <laughs> right, help me out there, okay? Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna get you on the fly then. All right, okay, right. give give me who you would. I know you didn't think about it, but just give me on the fly. What? Who you could put in as Jabba? Who could I put in as Jabba? Yeah, well, I want to give this on to you. Like on the on the fly, on the fly. Oh, I know shoot. it's hard. Oh shoot! I would get a. Oh my god. I would get I know I'm putting him on the spot. Oh man, who could I who would I put Jabba 
Man, that's a good one. I'd have. I'd, oh man, who? Three, is... two, one. The mall cop guy. Uh, help me out. What's his? What, what was the? What was? What was the? Uh, what was the, the? The mall cop guy. What was his? What was the actor's name? The mall. James. Oh, uh, James. Kevin James. Kevin James. He was in uh, Here Comes the Boom. You know that? He, I don't <laughs> know, man. You know what, Kevin James? Funny too. I, I, not I, that he's funny, but I don't know, man. He could be menacing. No, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he could be. I, I thought of here comes the moon. That's what I was thinking of. You know, he could be. He could be. He has like, this kind of dawn like, kind of crime boss feel to him too. No, I got that. Nah, That's good. I, I think I, I think I, like I would that. use. I think I would use. I think I would use. It was on the fly. Yeah, okay. I, I would use Kevin James as That's as, a good one. as Jabba. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That's very. He would be a gang. He'd be a ga- yeah, gangster. He could, he looks like a gangster. Yeah. Yeah. He totally looks like a gangster. Yeah. All right. All right yours was. So mine the infamous. was infamous. Yes. Infamous. My pick for Boba casting Fett, was right? that's yes. yours. Okay. Yeah. Oh, was that timed? That's, Did you that do was, that on purpose? That was timed for your finale. For, for my fun. Yes. My my last okay. pick. But so, I would recast. A current, a, oh. I would recast the, like we a, should have gone over this person rules. who was. <laughs> I would recast a person that well he this actor is already playing a Star Wars character. We should have, but I think he should have. But I think he should have been Boba Fett instead of instead of. Don't get me wrong. I like Tamora Morrison as 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 the clones and all the and Boba Fett and Rex and I. I, I he's not I, gonna come I, after you know. I he's no, not, but he's not one of our. No, no I'm just saying. It's out there. He's like what? What did the uncle? No, but I, I had nothing. No, nothing against Tamora Morrison. Not nothing at all. I I I, I like him. I I like the fact that that, that freaking the clones are were freaking um are are Maori. Maori. Yeah. Because it didn't mean that it fits. It, it fits the whole thing. The clones, you know, they were they were once. There were once these these guys that like they, they were, you know, they were prominent like they were yeah. the, the prominent people who who, fought. it it fits like this whole thing with with Tamora Morris you know the movie once were warriors weren't the weren't the clones once He's were warriors weren't the clones once were warriors that like that the, that that whole mystique fits that fits the clones but if I were to recast Boba Fett now you had to recast it. I would I would I would go with Donnie Yen <gasps> oh my gosh. He's Chirrut Imwe in yeah, in no, one. Yes, yes, good. He would he would have been an awesome Boba yes, Fett. Yes, yes. Because you can see him, the clones and yeah, no, you're because you're right on the money. And man. he could have been, you know, he could have, he could have been the clones, but then the the arc, the, you know, the you know the arc clones, they could have been the hand to hand guys. Oh yeah, no, no, I totally agree. This is this is a really he would have been a perfect Rex. Oh yeah. man, he would have been he would have been a per, he would have been a perfect. Rex, he'd be a perfect Boba Fett. You, you know what I mean. So I think Donnie, I think Donnie Yen would have been. That's a really good one. That, that actually, yeah. If we were Donnie Yen, would have been, but would have been a, I think a good Boba Fett. Again, no offense to Timur Morrison, but I think Boba, I think no, we're Boba recasting. Fett, That's the Donnie Yen. We're doing thing. My, that would be my. That's, Boba who'd be your way? Go. Mine's on the fly. Go. Oh, uh, I didn't do it on the fly. Go. Um, <laughs> That's why Andrew Kojoy. He's the one guy who played Storm Shadow in G.I. Joe. And he was also in Bullet Train. You know yes, what I'm talking about? I yes, think he's English, yes, Japanese, or something like that. Yes. But like with similar dudes who could basically who know who can fight. You know? Oh, but I think that guy would be I think that guy would be good. Oh, I, I think good my one. guy would beat up your guy. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe someone comment on that one. I don't but, know. But this dude's bad, dude. This guy's know, this man. guy's this guy's awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, that that's a good one. Yeah, he's on trend too, you I know. Like that. And, and and you know, and the whole like GI Joe, and you know, he was a Chicago, and basically he's a Ronin, which is kind of like the vibe of Boba Fett, right? What's up with you and tall dude? This guy, this guy, is he that tall? tall? Yeah, huh? this guy, is, this guy's tall. Everybody's tall to me. Like, there's nobody <laughs> I can't say is, is tall. <laughs> I mean, nobody. I mean, twelve-year-old <laughs> daughter is tw- taller than me. I mean, Jesus. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's. No, but I mean, I see yours. I mean, we went with a similar vibe of guys who could, who yeah. could fight. 
like you can see both of those actors like owning a unit, like a Delta Force unit or Arc Trooper unit. Well, I mean, like, just I mean, just imagine. I mean, if I mean, just imagine. Well, Vader's, uh, you know, Vader's whole freaking squad of of his own stormtroopers, the five hundred first. Yeah. And being, fist those, and being all Donnie Ends or oh, yeah. Andrew Koji. Yeah. Oh my god. Koji, yeah. Jeez. That's scary. Well and then and and, and 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 well god and then compare and, and then they'd be and and then they'd be uh the, they'd be the bad batch too. <laughs> Actually, you know what I was thinking of when I first saw that that actor and I was kinda of going in my head of like putting him into roles was I, I saw uh, Crosshair. Crosshair from Bad Batch. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, that kind of looks like who would be Crosshair. That kind of tall, slender look about him or whatever with the Star Wars toothpick. Of the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. So, you, you know, we did we we did this little exercise. Yeah. Should they ever reboot Star Wars? Oh, I, should they? Uh, knowing now that, or, or, knowing know, that this is years? owned by Disney, I think I think it'll happen. You think so? You yeah. think it'll happen? I think because it's Disney and because they know we're going to go. And it's a whole new batch of toys and such like that. I mean, it's it's Disney. Well, yeah, you know they did. Yeah, they did live reboots of their of their animated series. So, yeah. yeah, I mean there there yeah. there is that possibility that they could do it. Would I want them to do it? No. No, I, I as a fan, I don't. I, yeah, I wouldn't want them to. Yeah. It was fun doing this, but I wouldn't want them to yeah. to reboot it. I mean. Quite honestly, the tech the technology that they're using these days for you know, for like getting Mark Hamill to act in the Mandalorian, the, that whole deep fate thing. Oh, yes. They wouldn't need they wouldn't need to reboot it anymore. They could just use. Have, the you, have you seen in the new Indiana Jones the trailer? Like what they're yeah, what they're doing. Yeah, what they're doing with the Harrison Ford. It's like every three six months. Like this stuff gets so much better. Yeah. So I. You know? I don't think they would. They I don't think they would need to reboot. They could. They could. Redo them. They could. They could remaster them. They could like deep fake. I mean, they could quite honestly deep fake. Uh, well, they don't need to deep fake those. Ones. That's them originally. But if they had to use them in future projects, they could. Yeah, absolutely. This is I, and I and I, I I think we talked about this in cheaper in, than in, hiring Zendaya and Zac Efron to do uh, films. I, I mean, think this cast would be your cast would be super expensive. We talked about. I mean, I kind of mentioned it about like you know James Earl Jones and the the possibility yeah. of him selling off the the rights to his voice, his, his likeness, and of his, his voice. the likeness of his voice for infinite time, for right yeah, for, yeah, forever, so that they could use his voice as Vader forever. This is the voice of Vader, so getting some uh, some other uh, voice actor yeah. to to emulate his voice. They could just have James Earl Jones forever. Yeah. You know what I mean. But that's all the time we have for today. But thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Uncle Geek Podcast. Be sure to look out for more news of the geek, our geekly debrief, and geek thinking. Also, for the first episode of The Mandalorian, (laughs) stay tuned for our new mini series, Geek Critique, starting next week for reviews on that. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. So, hey, everybody, I'm Roy. My name is Nick. We're going to see you next time. Uncle Geek Podcast.